from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Alan Crone. Yes, so yesterday, midday, about afternoon, it's like, what in the world is going on here? It's like, oh, yeah, so that mountain cedar is cranking up. <laughs> oh, yeah. no. Yeah, the allergies are feeling way up. a little rough. Maybe that's yeah. why I was feeling sleepy yesterday. That could be it. Yeah, the last couple of days, uh, the mountain cedar, the red cedar's up there quite a bit. So if you are, uh, you know, in the allergy bucket, you know, like we are here, uh, hang in there. All right, so 60 to 62 today, sunshine. Uh, we're going to have some passing clouds, gusty south winds at around 15 to 20 miles an hour. So not flat out windy, but just a little breezy. And we're back into another warming trend this week. So this past weekend obviously was the, the, the winter time. Uh, and again, we're not finished with winter, even though we're going to have a week or two of some pretty nice spring type temperatures here. Tomorrow, 71. Wednesday is close to 80. And then we have another system Wednesday night, early Thursday. That'll lower the temperatures a couple of degrees. And so far, our weekend looks good. Now, I do want to point something out this morning. There's a very small storm system that's located right in through here. So I've got the radar cranked up. You can see a few echoes across western Kansas. That little system is going to scoot right across far northern Oklahoma and central Kansas today. It'll provide a few clouds. There might be a sprinkle out of that cloud deck. It's just not very likely. Our bigger issue is going to be the wind. We'll have a gusty south wind today at 15 to 25 miles per hour. And then tomorrow they come down. Wednesday and Thursday they're coming back up. But Thursday, that's a north wind. So we have a south wind on Wednesday that's ahead of the front. And then that front pushes through. And Wednesday will be a gusty north wind at 20 to 30 miles per hour. And with that, we have have a low chance for a shower or even a rumble of thunder once we get into Thursday. So it's a late Wednesday night, early Thursday, early next week. By the way, we have several opportunities that are be coming up around uh, Tuesday and Wednesday for a shower storm of next week. So this is a probability that we have on the map for Wednesday night and early Thursday morning. Slight, moderate, likely. This is just a slight chance we could have one or two storms trying to develop across far eastern Oklahoma. Here's today. Here's the noon hour. There's that little system I just mentioned that's going to scoop by today. It's going to provide some clouds. Southern Kansas, far northern Oklahoma, there might be one sprinkle out of the cloud deck. Otherwise, south to southwest winds, we're going to have sunshine. High temperatures today would be a mixture of upper 50s and some lower 60s. 63 in McAllister, 62 in Bristow, 62 in Tulsa, 59 in the Vanita area. Tomorrow morning, we'll start cool, not as cold as this morning, mostly in the 30s. We'll have a south wind tomorrow at around 10 to 15 miles per hour. High thin clouds will be most of the cloud cover that we'll have tomorrow. And our temperatures tomorrow afternoon will be mostly into the lower 70s. So right now it's 34 in Tulsa. We have a south breeze at 8 miles an hour. We do have some 20 degree weather on the map this morning. So take a look. It's a cold start in Bartlesville, 29 Pawhuska, 29 Muskogee. And we have 30 in McAllister. So a couple of weak systems, but no major impacts. Cloud deck around Independence and Coffeyville at midday could give us a sprinkle. Little thunderstorm early Wednesday, um, early Thursday morning, late Wednesday night's possibility. And then here we go. Let's bring on the weekend. We're ready for it already.